Hello, welcome to today's What's in the Workshop. You join me on a hot Friday afternoon, stuck in very slow moving traffic, on the way to do something stupid again. Great. Okay, just a couple of minutes away now. Just pulled over to make sure I'm going the right place. Um, it's taking forever to get here because it's a Friday evening, but the weather's nice, can't complain. So, you can see um, in a moment what I've done. Yep, that's right. I bought another one. So I've tried and tried to get a, a post. With a bit of a lead, this chap in Portugal has some new old stock ones. I was asking him to, you know, have you got one? He's going to check his stock. He never got back to me. He ignored my messages. So I was looking for one breaking for parts. I was trying and trying. Found nothing. And eventually, I came across this complete Morris 1300 body shell. Well, a complete ish. Did have a bonnet, but we binned it because it was too rotten to make the journey back. Um, but what it does have. An excellent condition A post. Can't show you now because the door locks itself and you can only open it from the inside. So a couple of other things I've got. The fuel cap I needed and it has the boot floor thing. I mean, you know, it's virtually paid for itself, right? No? Ah. So yeah, there's a few useful bits on it. Doors aren't too bad, boot lids all right. Um, gla glass. That's probably about it. But no got what I need and a few other cuts as well. Inside, well, half a back seat, not really any floor. Yeah. Apologies I didn't record getting the car on the trailer. Um, I wanted to get it on as quickly as possible. The lovely chap I bought the car from was giving me a hand. I wanted him to be able to get home to his dinner. Um, bought it from Richard Lee Classic Car Spares. He has an excellent selection of classic cars here. Um, he pretty much just buys them in to then sell them as projects, gets them running, if possible, and just sells them on as projects. People, he says, be doing it 30 years. People come to him, bring him nice cars. It's all I could do to not come home with another project car, to be honest. And I'm risking it just by walking over here because, yeah, I can already feel myself drawn towards these things. Oh, that's a lovely Woolsey. That, that smells brilliant inside. Ooh, that's not bad at all, that body, is it? Yeah, okay, I should probably probably stop now before I end up buying another car. But as I say, if you're after a classic project, you've got a good selection. So well worth a visit. Alright, now we're home, they can say hello to each other. Uh, I'll now take the straps off and we'll get the front jack right up so that I'll be able to get to the A post and chop things off. And then um, should be able to open the doors so I can give you a bit more of a look round. Okay, I've got that held up in a multitude of precarious ways. Got the block of wood under the inner wing. The axle stand either side on that one. And just in case that's not entirely perfect, so some tyres under it as well, so hopefully it can't go anywhere. So, should now be able to open the doors. So this side, good A-post, but I don't need that one. Uh, dashboard, that's not too bad. Dash top's very good. Rails are good. So there might be something of use to someone in here. The shelf is very good as well. Um, pedal box. Well, they're a bit seized, but what's it like inside? So, let's move this seat out of the way. Well, some of the floor pattern isn't too bad. It's had the usual repairs along the edge. No, 
if we can see what the sills are like well yeah we can see the usual standard of 1980s repair work can't we a couple of welds that'll do all the way along nah just a couple that'll be fine um yeah it's not as heavily patched as the walls is but it is also heavily rotten 54,000 miles 154 genuine who could say and pedal rubbers say possibly genuine some hole there so as you can see i don't feel too guilty about chopping this shell up because it's never going back on the road it's thoroughly rotten hopefully there's a few bits on here which might be of use to somebody else so the doors they've all got a little bit of rust at the bottom but they're not in bad shape in general the glass is all good this i'm missing so i'll have that for the wallsy i'll also have that wheel because i don't have a spare wheel um put around the other side the steering rack still on it that'd be useful i don't think those are going to be a lot of use the clutch master and slave you could sorry the clutch and brake master could keep them but so the all important a post and the door is the one that only opens from the inside oh i'm gonna get in here and i'm gonna pull on that there you go here we go that is looking pretty good hopefully it's all right on the front side but there's certainly plenty there that i can repair even if it does turn out to be a little rusty i can feel that's solid this area is solid i think that's going to be a big help in repairing mine so the next thing to do will be i'll take this door off i'll cut the wing off and then we'll get that a post out and then hopefully this old girl might be able to have a door that doesn't fall off every time you try and open it uh, is it rusty enough to see the back of the a post not quite and more beautiful 70s 60s 70s 80s welding oh maybe if i pull really hard hang on let me just put you down what do you reckon bottom of the A post in here isn't perfect. Oh, wait. Let me get in there. You got the center sill, inner sill. Oops. Bottom of the A post, it's not perfect, but I think there's enough there that I can work with that. I think I'm going to be able to repair that reasonably successfully. Find out more once we get it fully off. But uh, I have to get the plasma cutter out for that. So there we have it. I've got another thing on the drive. Hopefully this one won't be staying around long. I'll cut off the bits I need and then we'll get that gone. Um, I'll salvage anything that it's going to be of any use to anyone sell it give it away whatever i can do and if any of you happen to be looking for any parts for a ado 16 let me know i've got one or two good bits hopefully next time we'll get some bits from this welded back on that make a bit of progress so thanks for watching and if you could do me a favor and hit that subscribe button that would be great